So I'm going to talk only about nutrients that are known to help their health. Vitamins that I'm talking about here uh, go for skin as well. So to improve the skin, these vitamins and nutrients are important. So one of them is protein. So like I said, you know, when you are uh, crash dieting, you're usually losing good chunks of nutrients. And protein is one of those things that you might be losing as well. Sometimes when you go on a very low ca calorie diet or even low carb diet, you lose muscle mass because your body has to supply energy from somewhere. So usually instead of taking it from fat, it'll take it from your muscles. So you have less protein to put it on your skin and your hair. So protein, the two important proteins for hair and skin are uh, keratin and collagen. Keratin is the protein in your hair and your nails. And collagen is uh, for elasticity of your skin. So both of these proteins are important for health. Iron, a lot of people who are iron deficient do have hair fall. That's important. Now remember I also talked about being having health issues that's related to the gut where you're not absorbing these minerals and vitamins. So it's important that those things are resolved before you or at least treated somehow so that you can make sure your hair health is better once those things are taken care of. Vitamin D, and then we'll talk a little bit about zinc and biotin. These are very important for hair growth. Just, you don't need them through supplements. You can naturally, easily get them from foods. And most people in this living in this day and age are not going to be deficient in biotin or zinc. Selenium is very important also. It's a mineral, but too much of it will also cause hair fall. So it's not good to have less, but it's not good to have more either. So it's very important. And the good thing with food is your food doesn't have too much of a supply of these nutrients. So you're never going to be toxic with any of these vitamins uh, when you're getting it from food, but you will if you're getting it from supplements. Other stuff, omega-3 and antioxidant vitamins like vitamin C and E and then vitamin A. 